Gog, so until Gog, that happens, I want you no. to listen to me. Gog, here's what I need to know. How many pallets of toilet paper do we need to send you in order to get a galaxy client? <laughs> I think I think they have And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly the show. It covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, conducting this nightmare train of nonsense. Joined every week by the man up north, a nigh indestructible being whose only known weakness is 80s California? spandex. I thought you were going to say Pikachu <laughs> butt plugs. And that was Pedro. Uh, together with you at home, uh, helping us form. <laughs> well, that's that room dynamic. Helping us form. Go again, Ultron. Hey, man, I almost got through it. Uh, hey, what's up, everyone? Are we alive, Jordan? Do you have, do, do you have your um toilet paper? I I I I do, but I got like one square left. Oh so. no! It's a, it's <laughs> a, it's a, I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use this one for the entire week. <laughs> no, I'm so. just thinking about like people like <laughs> having to barricade yourself. It's like it's mine. No, it's the precious. <laughs> no, you can't have it. It's mine. I'm just talking about oh, the free free um super shows and men. I, I admittedly, I had to see some of the just to see if it was as bad as people were saying. I stopped at two different groceries. One that just caught me off guard was at uh, Whole Foods. The all the flour was just like devastated, and that was followed up by like, there was no eggs except for like one twelve pack that was half open. And I was like, either that just went down, or like some bakers just walked in here and this place up. <laughs> Dude, dude, no, no, comboing that what you said with the pasta, it makes sense though. Everyone's like making spaghetti. Everyone is making spaghetti yep. and ravioli. They've taken all the eggs in the flour, all like the pre cooked or the, the ready cooked pasta. It's happening. It's the mm. pasta apocalypse. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> before we get into it, let's see what's going on in our lives, man, because you are back. I am. California. I, I'm unfortunately. Nice and tan. The- a little, a little bit. That 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 happens sometimes when I'm exposed to the cancer death orb in the sky. Oh no! But you know, as 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 it, tur- as it turns out, if you if you miss a week of work, mm-hmm. shit tends to pile up. So oh, now I'm just in, I'm just in like clear clearing shit out my plate mode. That's been my entire week. Well, at least you're not like, stuck at home. I am. Yeah. Oh, I, I got, I got, I got, I got an, e- I, I got an email and a phone call from my boss. Is like, yeah, you need to like stay the hell away from the office. I'm like, cool. Well, Pedro, you work for the National Health Service of Britannia, so at least they were smart enough to tell you to work from home as well. Uh, no, they didn't. Oh, because this is the UK we're talking about. So okay. I'm expected to go to work on Monday, Lovely. and uh, now the the UK government has moved into the delay phase, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, but it means no, I am very anything. much. Yeah, uh, I'm very much expected to go to work on Monday, so uh, while everyone else, you know, all the other countries seem to be uh, being very cautious about the whole um, human malware thing, the UK is just like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. we're just gonna wait until it. this, uh, so, so, until this someone, beces an actual problem. <laughs> So someone someone on Twitter raised a very valid point, and the 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 COVID nineteen epidemic has revealed two main things: mm. is that all those jobs that your employers say you couldn't work remote for, you absolutely can work right. remote for. Dude. Number two, the internet is a utility. <laughs> it's not. It's at this point, it is a utility. That's we need utility. Yeah, it is. Cut off it, if that check doesn't clear. Um, dude, yeah. <laughs> over here, I've given myself a stupidly hard challenge, but I do like a good challenge. Is we've been playing around with some audio stuff. The I want to see if I can stick together a USB, not a FireWire, nothing, not PCI, not the stuff I normally play not, with. Not, not SCSI? No, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I'd love it. Everyone would be like, oh, look, that's even weirder. Uh, yeah, ISA. Let's see if we can go how far back we can go. MIDI. But a $100 budget to stick together a recording interface for like streamers or podcasters with a microphone that I would use. That would sound good enough to like okay i would use that this is gonna be fun might have bitten off more than i can chew but uh <laughs> i i have an idea um one thing i'm kind of waiting on ebay because it's also got to be reproducible i can't say oh i got this fantastic deal on ebay from this one mm-hmm. seller this one time it's got to be something that there's a lot of at that price point so i'm looking forward to that and uh if you are a patron my uh retro review of i guess 14 10 14 year old 
1280 something dollar interface that I picked up for 60 bucks. That's going up Monday. So stay tuned for that. That's really, uh, that's a lot less than the horse though. I mean, the horse is jacked into the matrix right now. Um, it's having a chat with Lawrence Fishburne yeah. about homelessness. It's the scene. Man, if you want to get jacked into the matrix, now is the right time. You can, uh, uh, you can now start ordering uh, Valve Wait, are you again. trying to imply maybe people are stuck at home this week? Possibly. No. Oh, possibly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so so if, if you want ooh, the closest ooh, substitute you geez. can get to the outside world, yeah, thousand bucks. Damn. But to to be fair, that's what it was charged they were charging before. I think it's actually a little less than what yeah. they were charging okay. before. Um but the the big thing here is um if you go and pre order or if you go and order an index now, you get a free copy of Alex, the the new Half Life game coming um, out. But uh, also but also okay. if you already if Alex. you already have one <laughs> If you already have one, you get a free uh, you get a free copy of Alex just to go with it. They really, I think they're really trying to push the whole Alex is a VR first game. You should really experience it in VR so that you can get the full uh, full milieu as were. Well. And you know, like I've been saying, I think I think this will be one of like the few examples of a really well done VR game because Valve doesn't really fuck around with that stuff. Even Artifact was a pretty solidly designed game. It's just people bounced off it. Um, I will say this uh, to point out what um, Basil said. Eight week delay in shipping. That's a real thing. This is true. Yeah. (laughs) Eight to ten weeks. (laughs) Yeah. Not looking forward to that. But, 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 but on behalf of anybody who is planning to or has ordered a thousand dollar toaster to stick on your head. uh, When it comes to the, well, it comes with a free copy of Alex uh, on behalf of everyone out there. It's fucking better. Um, (laughs) But... (laughs) But on on the topic of Alex, man, that's yeah. Okay. People are going to buy it to play that game who otherwise normally wouldn't want to walk around their house looking like they're getting face fucked by a toaster. Mm -hmm. But I ask you this, Pedro, how many of them are out there that are willing to drop a grand just to play Alex? Well, I can give you an example that I, as someone who very much enjoys the uh, Half-Life series, I want to play Alex. I'm not going to pay even 459 pounds for just the headset, mm-hmm. uh, fuck that, or 260 pounds for just the knuckles, uh, fuck that, or a hundred and... But Pedro, you have a sugar daddy who's willing to buy you stuff in excess of $1,000. <laughs> There's precedent for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, n- no. <laughs> yes. Most expensive yes. thing was wimpy, and that was um, five hundred pounds. It was the ten eighty. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a thousand bucks. <laughs> Canadian. I didn't think Canadian um, do- dollar dues were down that question. low. But you haven't pulled up in the show notes. What's this thing running Canadian dollars? Uh this thing runs thirteen hundred Canadian. <sighs> Yeah, no, 919 for the full thing. That's here. a spicy <laughs> toaster, man, especially with the limited selection of Linux native games in VR. But uh, there's always it's constant spoke, updates spoke. to uh, pieces yes. of software that's going to broaden that. Yeah. Yeah. And Proton has proven time and time again that, yes, you can totally use it to get some VR going on Linux, whether or not you have the um, games to support it. And the new um, 5. 0.0-4 version brings a couple of fixes. Uh, the one Linux using co-worker that I know of tells me that Monster Hunter is now playable, so that bit in the changelog apparently holds up. I wouldn't know. Uh, the Monster Hunter uh, is one of those games that I look at, it's like, yeah, I kind of want to play it, but I know exactly what kind of game it is, and it's a grindathon, and I, I'm not into that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And they did update uh, DXVK to 155, so that's now running the latest version with all of the other performance improvements and compatibility improvements that that brings. I'm Which looking at it, man. The only thing I care about, <laughs> period, ever, 100%, is the goddamn Batman works. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can. You can now shoot the grappling hook and crouch without noping directly to the desktop. It's it's kind of amazing, and you can do it very slowly because for whatever reason, it runs like ass, man. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was bad. Uh, I played it using, uh, pff, man, close to a year ago with Lutris, Lutris.net. Go check that out. Just using the installer from Lutris, it installed the Steam thing, ran fine. Uh, this 
you can now get into the game, but it's it's chuggy and frame spiky. I mean, really bad. Like, uh, mm. I wouldn't. I was like, oh, I'll I will play this uh, Friday. I did not. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe they'll, maybe they'll get that uh, sorted out. And it's not just me. It, it runs like absolute rewarmed poop without any uh, poop paper. It needs poop paper to wipe it up and clean up some of the poop. Mm, poop paper. Yes. Oh, quit flaunting your square. <laughs> my, 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 my ones. Yeah, uh, the, the, other, the other thing that got fixed in this release is uh, the origin launcher is working, and uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order colon title uh, is now playable. So if you want if you want some Star Wars Dark uh, Souls. I thought it was just a colon. Yeah. Yes. Just the, <laughs> it's, 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 just a, it's just a gaping hole. Oh, that's where all the toilet shit. paper is going. That's all right. right. Okay. <laughs> the Empire did nothing wrong. Uh, Steam Labs. Punch Steam notes. Labs. That, that thing that Valve is trying to engineer to get you to spend more money on Steam. Uh, they have uh, some updates. And apparently they are uh, going back and updating some of the old Steamwork stuff. Um, like exper- These things remind, the experiment names remind me of like Mystery Science Theater episodes. Every time I look at them, it's just like. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell? valve really you're no you no 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 experiment no. nine five two where's one we're missing it's not up, it's, it's, one it's not hasn't updated. been updated in a while yeah these are just yeah. the updates yeah. <laughs> the uh yeah so the, the the big one now is that uh games will have their own individual news hubs so you can get updates for them mm-hmm. uh and you know, filthy, filthy tab openers like myself get better support because now you can middle click or shift or uh, control click to open stuff in new tabs, and it won't completely screw up the site. Yes, Ooh. enable my disease valve. Let me open up sixty more tabs. <laughs> I have the memory for it. <laughs> uh, That's your excuse for everything these days, man. Pedro, do you any thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, to, to piggyback on your point, it's like you mentioned there were a couple of missing ones, but uh, I'm looking at the active experiments, and where's Experiment 7? What happened to Experiment 7? In my defense, just... I can't count very good. Well, <laughs> Because you I, see, like, if you go to the actual Steam Labs page, it's like micro trailers, interactive recommender, automatic show, search, deep dive, community recommendations, play next, and the news hub. Cool. In Valve's Where's defense, number seven? In Valve's defense, they're one of the few companies that can just straight up get away with slapdash bullshit like that. And you're like, oh, but it's Valve. And you're like, yeah. Well, I, I, I was going to say, they you usually check skip the Craig. number three, not the number seven. Oh, dude, it, it's had um, effects that have spread <laughs> up. They, they, no control over it now. This is what you get, Valve. Should have, should have released. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh. Da, da, da. Never went to develop. Da, da, da. Oh, D and D nerd stuff. I don't care. Woo! Nerd well, stuff. It's Neverwinter Nights, and uh, they have been. Actually, this is one of the things I've been tracking because I like Neverwinter Nights. And the enhanced edition, it came out a bit rough on Linux, but the uh, Beam Dog has been continuously improving it. And the latest development build. Wait, if you're you can tracking play that, as a Borg. It, okay. That's a half orc, but that, close that, enough. That, yeah, that's a it, it, it's a Get it's it. a half orc. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's eleven of thirteen, man. I, I remember that. Yes, <laughs> but yeah, no, they have a couple of improvements. Uh, like uh, spells in the spellbook are now sorted alphabetically. And Thank you. The new yes. <laughs> be, be, the new you know what? Which you don't uh, like uh, a little uh, orange uh, Jesus in your spell. I, like I don't I don't know. Sorting sorting spells alphabetically makes sense if you want to know. Find your fucking spells, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, they also changed the rule set to DA uh, to allow custom portraits because that was a thing that was. Um, you could previously do it wasn't tied to any of the 2da files that neverwinter nights uses to like set the game rules proper but it is now so they fixed that and they fixed pathfinding which is a bit you can see in the gif there uh before if you'd click on the ground close enough to a placeable object it would just go uh no but now they fixed it and if you click on it your character will actually move they also fixed a bunch of uh, issues, which, since I've been tracking the development thing and I actually finished all of the three you know, original this is campaigns. You know for Raging Nerds when they're talking about, like, scripting enhancements. Yes. Yes. Yes, there. <laughs> yes, it is. Actually, the scripting is basically C++ made very, very easy. Uh, so, yeah. 
the uh, one of the issues that I found while playing all through the campaigns was that uh, some spells, especially if you had a meta magic feat and you put the spell in your spell book with the meta magic enhancement, uh, you can it have would magic just go feet in this no. Game? Yes. You can have multiple kinds of magical feet. Uh, what, what, what's the limit mm -hmm. on the mag magical feet number I can have at one well, time? Well, you can have I've, I've, so spells, you, you, extended spells, I'm not saying I'm spells. sold. No, 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 no. You <laughs> might have my attention with magic feet. Pe Pe Pedro, I'm you, a have the boot, you have the boots of spring against riding. You got expeditious retreat. You got like dimension door. Haste. That's that's mag that's magical feet. Yeah, haste, slow, grease. <laughs> yes. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I might. I am magic feet curious. <laughs> yes, magical and, feet. Um, yeah, no, they actually fixed a bunch of the bugs that were plaguing the previous development builds, which means that the game is actually playable now. You can use a bunch of the mods that you previously had access to. Uh, those are working again, and it's, yeah, no, it, it's good to see progress being made. They still need to fix the scaling, but once that's done, uh, i gladly give it a glowing recommendation. Scales for everyone. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so it, it's it's not a, it's not acrobatic. It's a cobra tick, um, ultimate chicken horse. So a we're cobra playing tick. The Imagine a blood sucking yeah. snake. I mean, <laughs> no. What given given that they're adding a new character, which is a snake on a on a skateboard, my my brain immediately jumped to like that that one sign that's like no dogs on skateboards with like martinis smoking Dude, cigarettes. A blood sucking <laughs> yes. cobra. Oh, gee, all right. You you finish this. I got to figure out what to do with this erection. Right. I'll, I'll let you become Kung Fury <laughs> later. Yeah. Uh, so they they added a new character. It's a skateboarding snack. A snackboarding. Um, Snackboarding. Uh, they've yes. also added uh, two new levels, space and the ballroom, and some new blocks, including bees and flamethrowers. So maybe you can get flaming bees. That might be a thing you'll be able to do. Wait, we'll find, okay, we'll find out on. in the can, after show. Can they be vampiric flaming bees? Uh, only I'm going uh, the in your imagination, I suppose. I'm just saying, if we already got a blood sucking <laughs> snake, maybe I want some blood sucking bees. Is that asking too much? I feel it's uh, I'm asking too much. No, but you 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 are. But at the very least, you can play with uh, people on Switch or PSN, so that's nice. Yes, crossplay no, uh, is always they, good. Yeah, they, they keep introducing new stuff, and it's another update with the character and two levels and four new ways to murder your friends. Yes, please. <laughs> It's a uh, fun they, they, game, man. They are, they are going to go out of their way to flag uh, the stuff you need to do to unlock the snake, though. You don't just get it for free. Mm. I kind I, I'm kind of hoping we unlock the snake because I want to go make you the snake. They're going to make you crawl for snack. it. Yes. Yeah. Snake jazz. No, no, no step, no on, step snack. on snack. No step on snack. You can step on Freeman, though. <laughs> step on me, Freeman. Doctor this this is what we were Freeman. just sitting there. Mr. Freeman. Tell tell Pedro <laughs> shut up and let Vin do us a little bit. Uh Black Mesa. Go up, Peter. I'm just playing with you, Pedro. Quick right. He's all sad off camera. Um You know what this is? This this is what happens, synergy, <laughs> when you don't immediately release this synergy, because mm -hmm. okay. Here's what I was thinking. Because the development team, Synergy Mod, if you don't know, it's something that lets you play a bunch of games, but uh, we've used it for Meet the Freemans for playing yes. Half-Life Episode 2 to completion in hard mode, and we want to continue this adventure. And they asked on the forums years ago, maybe almost like two years ago, like, so, when are you going to start work? And I think fairly enough on Black Mesa. And they're like, ah, what, mm -hmm. it's done. And it's like, safe bet. <laughs> like, well, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's out now. <laughs> it's out now, Brad. And just like, I can just imagine, like, fuck, go ahead and delete that before they bring it back up. Um, I'm looking forward to it. But what this is, is an unofficial mod that will allow you to play through, what is it, Jordan? The first couple of levels, right? Uh, it is the first 16 maps. First 16 maps. Yeah. They say, yo, we still got some work to do. You can't pick up items and... Uh, you do, you do have to do like your port forwarding, you know, the 27, 15, zero, 15 yeah. yeah. And you got to sit that and you got to do like a map warm up. So it's a bit rough around the edges. Uh, Jordan and I discussed maybe uh, playing fondling it a little bit. Um, Just poking at it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe on Thursday like, or Friday. We'll see yeah, we syn syn Synergy needs to hurry their buns up. Um, We're going to pre test it. Then may maybe, maybe Synergy will go to these guys and be like, hey, can we just Hi. borrow your code? You can, we get, can, 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 can we list Rider your stuff? <laughs> Boom! Surprise! No one expects the Lutris. And uh, once it once it, once it gets printed in a semi-playable state, uh, we will continue to meet the Freemans, where we invite all of you to uh, 
come yeah. play yes. some black music. Did you quote Mars <laughs> I thought you were just going to leave it there. <laughs> well, so yes. I, 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 I like sort of the fictional notion of like the multiplayer Black Mesa where instead of Gordon Freeman, they've hired like a dozen interns to do his job. <laughs> and that that is that is the plot of of like black you know what i want to see i i noticed um i watched this is completely off topic we talk about it real quick uh they had the uh like lead and um, creative designer of the new doom turtle was mm -hmm. on joe rogan's podcast and he was talking about it's not going to have standard multiplayer. you know what they're doing for deathmatch instead of deathmatch for doom mm -hmm. game it's asymmetrical stuff like Left 4 Dead, like we're going to be playing in there. Oh, nice. So, like, some people are playing as, like, the demons. You can you yeah. can have, like, two demons to one Doom Slayer. Oh, neat. So, I would like to see some mechanics like that. Brother. Yeah, it would, yeah. Be, it would be kind of neat to see. Because uh, I think Doom is pretty flexible when it comes to, like, what kind of stuff you can do. You know, pissed off, if, like, if you keep um, get getting spawned as, like, the head-sucking thing on the ceiling. God damn it! Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm the barnacle again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Could be worse. You That's could gonna be do a it. Coming up next, we got a brand new operating system for you that's only for playing games. If you try to run LibreOffice on it, you will die. Dead. Like, promise? Yeah, I promise. Right, uh, so, you know, felonies aside, chances are you have um, a sizable amount of uh, unused wealth, maybe. You probably spent it all on toilet paper or can, pasta. Can, can I use all my or, unused wealth to like buy like a Snick Pliskin action figure? Because I want one now. You yeah, probably I can. Use, uh, can I you exchange my pasta for money? That, yeah. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got nothing but noodles. I it's got noodles be and noodles. Antibacterial. Pasta? Uh, pasta. Well, it's got to be made of pasta. Antibacterial toilet paper made of pasta. Well, Sounds alleged felonies, right. <laughs> if we're going to get critical about well, it. Well, you, you, you know what? If, 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 if you, if you want to buy us some pasta ass wipe, you can head on over to Pass like Gamecast. Pasta. <laughs> pasta ass yeah, wipe. Pasties. You're like, it's like pasta, but you're in Boston. No you, got, you, no, no, you just put raviolis <laughs> over your nips and they're pasties. Anyways. Wait, uh, hang on. Go, go. Uh, we got to elaborate on this, man. Are we talking like uncooked ravioli or like nipple slicing ravioli ninja stars what yeah <laughs> that, that's anyway, some anyway, funky ravioli and, 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 anyways go, go 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 to our stupid fucking website Yay. put your mouse over the stupid fucking link they lots of options to support us bitcoin paypal amazon wish lists patreon all that good stuff being a patreon is the best way to support Snick us patreon Snake Treon. You can get Dot. a patented pending <laughs> Linux Gamecast snake. Patented or at pending. least at the very least access to our show notes Dude, where we make a bunch of lame snake I jokes. Like that. We need that on and the shirt. Speaking of we need a shirt that says patented pending. Patented pending, yeah. <laughs> patented pending snake. We put and on a shirt, man. Abs abs absolutely. Uh yeah, you get access to uh show notes. Discord pre pre super chosen. We got to thank Corey, who's a brand new Patreon. Thank you very much. Yay, Corey. Uh, if you want to do more of a one time donation thing or a one time purchase, you can buy a shirt, you can buy a coffee mug, you can buy stickers. I think we still have mouse pads. Mouse pads are still in stock. Do you know what we're going to have? We're going to have a patented pending shirt <laughs> pretty damn quick. The, our mouse pad is patented pending. Oh, man. I, I got to throw Corey some love because Corey was a uh, person who wrote in some email last week. I was like, yo, oh. where are you fuckos at the other six days of the week? I'm like, oh. We're hanging out on Discord. Uh, well, I was like, yo, I want some of that Discord hotness. He followed through. Yo. Thanks, Corey. Yeah, that's great. got a thread I like. <laughs> uh, see, see that glowing, shiny thing behind Ven's head? That's that's the fuck wall. If you buy some stuff off our Amazon wish list to help us build out our respective studios, I gotta your be name goes really up fucking on the fuck careful. wall. I don't want to knock anything down. Look at that. And it, <laughs> yes. And uh, and you know oh, what? This is the, weird. Carl, no, no. The, the the best the best thing is Captain Ginyu. Ven is Captain Ginyu. Um, the be the best the best thing is that if you send us stuff via our Amazon wish zones, you can add a, you can add a little note to it that we have to read on the air. So yeah. You can make us say all yes. sorts of dumb banana stuff. Oh, I didn't want to throw this. At, hang on, man. Here's unsolicited <laughs> fucking product advice. This thing, dude. If you're looking for a digital soldering iron that you can program. These things are like sixty bucks. What what do, what do you, right, what do you program the soldering iron expensive. to do? <laughs> to go fuck yourself. That's what. Man, that's that's, that's going to be one hot burning it's asshole. Hot. I'll tell you that. 
<laughs> you're gonna need like you, you, three toilet paper in order to def- look that off. We live in a you, world without toilet paper, so we gotta resort you, to extreme measures. You, you, but but you know you know what else is hot? <laughs> that that that, that Draugr OS. Dude, Aegon, I'm sorry. This is a post-toilet paper Canadia we're talking about. <laughs> we have to use pine Everyone is really nice, leaves. but everyone has and this is really bad swamp ass. Tsunami of ravioli. <laughs> and drugs. I just wipe my ass with the beaver yes. tail. So Drug I rollers. wonder if this has something to do with the zombies from Skyrim, but, um, well, this is uh, Draugr OS. It's a Linux desktop gaming operating system. Okay. God. Desktop gaming operating system yep i only game on server operating systems i only game on because the floor, not on not on top of my steam desk. os uh, tried that particular approach mm-hmm. and it was much more laser focused it was very hey, pedro, much targeting pedro, like pe- uh, the pedro, console experience pedro? hey pedro yeah? do, you, do you want to try my not arts distribution Gamera, ga- well, it's Gamera, not ours. Gamera, it's, Gamera it's actually uh, <laughs> uh, this one is uh, Ubuntu based. It's currently based on eighteen oh four, I believe. Okay, uh, but with Steam OS itself, I can see the point. It's like okay, stupid laser focused, dedicated gaming machine that's going to like be a console. Dragger OS sure. now with stupid laser focus. Uh, but yeah, no, this one doesn't I, I, even have where, where, that. Where can I get stupid laser focus? That's I want I'm that, saying, baby. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I uh, put Fedora on the Steam box, and now it's running um, Ubuntu 2004, the beta. Because, yeah, I can m- sort of massage those into being just the console operating system. I can do that. What's the point here? I, I, I don't get it. I don't. To, listen, man, it's using XFC, so this is clearly the best thing in the universe. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to plug in another monitor, in which case it's the worst it's thing in the also, universe. Also, it's kind of Borg-like. It's got new people. It found them delicious. Yeah. And yeah. they specifically say it's not for everyday use. It doesn't you know, come with certain basic shut, applications which are not needed up. for gaming. You quit your hate or Batcastle is going to come fuck you up. Batcastle? They have that on their about page. What? What, what is this? Do, so, not, uh, uh, do uh, not taunt uh, happy fun Batcastle. Okay, okay, okay. so, okay, so try, trying to bring this back to some type of sanity here. I, I, can, I can understand the need for a uh, gaming OS. Linux has a lot of options. It is, the, it is a multi-tool, and sometimes the defaults aren't necessarily the best thing for uh, up and for just setting up games, right? Sometimes they're good for general desktop use or like some kind of happy medium where you have a workstation that can do all the things decently well, but not excel at a certain thing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, having something with a little bit more focus, certainly there's space for it. That said, with Gamaros, SteamOS, yeah. which despite, Use despite, Gamaros. Dis, <laughs> d- 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 despite what people are saying, SteamOS is still alive. Mm-hmm. Valve is still targeting that for all their Linux offerings. Um, Though they haven't updated so, it, in well, a while. I'm going to throw this. I mean, and outside I mean, neither, of if you're running Debian, AMD so. hardware, if you get <laughs> AMD GPU, okay, update your shit, son. But over here in Debian Tin Busterland, everything fucking works. You don't hear me bitching about anything. I mean, talk about an ancient, ancient bit of kit that runs everything. So yes, <laughs> SteamOS still runs everything. Indeed. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this will go somewhere. I wish them the best. If they can come up with like a super tuned experience for gaming mm-hmm. that has mm-hmm. like... Yeah, maybe all, I will all, eat all, my all words. The, I have Maybe the all the optimization stuff, <laughs> optimization stuff is turned on so you can have super fast, get, get that extra 10 frames a second out of all your games. Yep. Maybe it'll be great. I don't know. Well, stay tuned because it's a brand new project. But oh, yeah. you know what? Maybe, nope. maybe maybe we can ask Big Daddy Mark Z give if me. he wants to fuck our faces. And by give me, I mean <laughs> return the original functionality from the dev kit, you fuckwits, uh, over at Oculus. Yep. I mean, hi, Facebook. See, we can call them stupid things like that because Facebook owns it, right? Popular to hate. Athletic support with 470 votes over at oculus.uservoice.com. So they make sure everyone says stuff in a handy place to ignore. The only reason I don't use Oculus Rift more is because Windows. Windows is not my main OS, and so I have it turned off every time. Please add support for Linux. Or at least help open HMD project. Uh, I'm all for this, man. I don't see them I doing it, but hey, man, petitions work. I mean, work for GOG, right? 
I mean, so here, here's the thing about Facebook is that they don't hate open source. They definitely don't hate Linux. Mm-mm. So, of like, if, if you if you were screaming at this at like Epic or Square or Konami or Capcom, I fully I fully expect them to just ignore something like this outright. But you know what? Facebook surprised us, right? Like, who the, who, who knows? It's more market penetration, like, dude. Uh, no. I mean, I mean, so Facebook is definitely trying to put out their own operating system, and there's probably a good chance it'll be somewhat Linux based. I don't think they're going to try and make a brand new one from scratch. So maybe they're maybe make this a is the space BSD to do. one. Well, yeah, because then they don't have to open source their code. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> hi Sony, hi Nintendo, and to some extent Microsoft. <laughs> yes. How's that network stack working for you? HMD, I'm looking at OpenHMD. It's uh, API for drivers and immersive technology head-mounted displays. That's that's the project. Go show some love to that. Help out if you yeah. can on that end. And it runs on everything. Android, FreeBSD, Linux, OpenBSD, OSX, and Windows. Cool. And you have Calabra and 3D glasses and Intel behind it. So yeah, like <laughs> m- 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 maybe have like a have a um, AMD Mesa relationship where like Intel just publishes the specs and then the project or not Intel. Um, Facebook publishes the specs and then the community will write their own drivers for mm-hmm. it. That m- that might be an yeah. amicable solution. Who knows? Regardless, it's yeah. still going to be a better love story than the um, Galax- the, Galaxy the, client. No, no, dude, the Facebook desktop launcher for android remember that yeah no good probably probably for good reason i was gonna say yeah. <laughs> r.i.p gog downloader what wait huh that thing didn't they cancel that six years ago you would be wrong but you would also think the same thing i did we put a lot of work into making it and you know it's been six years and the time has come to disable it in a week from now We'll disactivate, uh, disactivate. I like that. Disactivate. Disactivate, bitches. Um, <laughs> March 17th. So there are two methods of downloading games from GOG.com via the browser or go fuck yourself. You're on Linux. I mean, the GOG Galaxy app. For I mean, Lutris. Yes. Lutris, yes. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not to defend GOG. I don't want to, don't want to, don't get, don't get me right. But what do you think, Jordan? Six years? I think that's enough runway to be like, you yeah. don't really get to go, what? Huh? And re- yeah. really all this thing was for is like, if you're like me and you got a free copy of The Witcher 3 on GOG, instead of having to download a million executables, you can just use this the download the million executables. It does seem like going through um, some of the feedback from this post is, uh, oh, you still got, the, there's a Python-based tool called um, GOG Repo. That's the thing. But a lot of people are like, wait a minute, that, that was still around okay <laughs> and there were more than one saying it's like oh yeah i tried that last month it was already broken yeah <laughs> well see that's what that's why they're killing it i mean yeah. good th- good, th- good thing lutra still works or i guess you could you could use the other thing that we're going to talk about oh hang on Ran- hang on all right, all right do you think we'll ever get a god galaxy for linux or have they just doubled down because we we got that Witcher two nonsense, and they were like Witcher three totes come to Linux. There's a page that Steam had on mm-hmm. Steam dot com, well, store dot Steam dot com with the Witcher three, and smoke bombed that shit and disappeared. Is there I mean, it was, it was until we see a Street change Fighter. of the guard, of like the people in charge of CD Projekt Red and GOG go away. GOG, so until GOG, that happens, I want you no. to listen to me, GOG. Here's what I need to know: How many? pallets of toilet paper do we need to send you in order to get a galaxy client i think i think they have the days over there i was, I was gonna say my, my, my theory is we're gonna get a galaxy client like three weeks before they actually shut down gog okay <laughs> But, but in, 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 in the meanwhile, you can use Mini Galaxy if you don't feel like installing Lutris because that's too hard. It really isn't. Um, but Mini Galaxy, uh, it's out. They have a new version. It's not 9.3. Uh, big changes here are uh, you can cancel and pause re- resume downloads. And they also have a little baby Steam overlay, a little babby overlay that will show you your FPS stats, which I guess is kind of nice. Again, if you don't really want to use Lutris, which if you're under Linux... You should probably be using Lutris for your God games because Ooh, there's a German oh. translation. I can go uh, read through that in grammar notes. And, oh, oh, yeah, actual Portuguese. Uh, actual Portuguese, you mean? Yes. Yeah, real Portuguese. No. 
It yes. may be the most spoken Portuguese, but it's not actual Portuguese. Can't help itself. He's like, I, I, Angola I, 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 and Mozambique yeah. would like a word with you. Just saying. Uh, listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying that if we're not speaking in the old English dialect that they used for Beowulf, then we're not actually speaking. English. I don't know, man. I, I heard they spoke, um, you know, real Portuguese and uh, French. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> in, in French, go fuck yourself. Yeah, Man, I love to vacation in French, go fuck yourself. It's the best. That's cold. My Italy. butt's usually store, um, sore when I get home, though. That's because you only uh, bring that one square. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm economical. Thank you very much. Economical. Yeah, it's like a vinyl record. It's got side A and side B. No, no, no. I, I use artisanal vinyl toilet paper. It's real good. <laughs> Good luck. All right, all right. Hi, 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 Hyper Rogue. It is a non-Euclidean roguelike. Really, it's actually a world made based on hyperbolic geometry, which I did a bit of reading on, and then I realized I'm not a mathematician or a algorithmic topologist, and so I don't fucking understand Wait, this you, at all. Well, well, can you be appreciative yes, of how a you game, play the telling game. you that it's smarter than you are in the fucking title? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I absolutely can. Um, but uh, so apparently this guy's saying like uh, playing this game will actually help you develop a better understanding of um, hyperbolic geometry rather than like understanding the math. So that's kind of neat. Um, th what uh, does interest me is the way they handle difficulty scaling because there are a bunch of worlds and in each of the worlds there are a procedurally generated number of treasures and every treasure you gather ratchets up the difficulty so you could have a choice of going to the next world or just continuing on here and if you want to get if you want to make things super difficult you go look for like 100 treasures or something and then shit just gets all sorts of crazy hard um it really looks yeah, it, like i'm looking at the video it looks like I, i'm playing like an std or something that's because you have yeah an no it, it's an acid trip uh the the way that it sort of moves around as you move around and like the lens effect sort of changes the geometry around you it was fucking lens. with my eyes <laughs> and uh, uh yeah, yeah no, i i downloaded it i built it 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 just uses um sdl 1.2 uh, i think the only thing i had to download was um the auto reconf which they don't mention in the dependencies but they expect you to do it uh so yeah no it it builds easily enough and it's um it's 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 an experience i died in the mine world because the little thing at the top said it's like you are near a mine and okay did you, you have say like mine or mine because one of those is sexy. mine boo and fine <laughs> and so um no, it's like you have eight directions to go and you are near a mine. And guess what? I selected the one <laughs> that had a mine. It's like, poof, game over. All right. Okay. <laughs> so the, so there's, there's, a, there's a free version of this, but the paid version gets more updates more frequently. And they're saying that they're going to be putting out new zones, lands, whatever they call it. for. The there's paid also version. the uh, paid version is on Steam, so it keeps updated. You don't have yes. to worry about it. Like, yes, oh. this is true. Um... And maybe, maybe you can check uh, the frame rate on your hyperbolic worlds with uh, some gooey stuff. I don't know. Euclidean nopology, baby. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, maybe you're done with the, the Euclids or non-Euclids, as the case may be, and you just want a gooey to do everything for you. Nope. Well, uh, Euclid, Linux Euclid, does we need a bit more gooeys. Uh, I said Euclidean, <laughs> not Gooclidean. No, <laughs> shut up. It's not G. It's, no, it's actually G. It's, yes. it's, 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 it's like Gooey G. Gooey G. It's basically a teeny I'm tiny little bit of software called G Overlay that allows you to. Right now, it supports uh, Mango HUD, which we talked about uh, a couple of weeks ago. Actually, it keeps popping back up, so go figure. Uh, and right now, you can set uh, everything as related to Mango HUD, like the frame times, the <laughs> GPU utilization, CPU utilization, the amount of video RAM that it's using, the amount of uh, system RAM that it's using. I love it. I love the, the red arrow. It's like, it's right here. That's somebody who's answered that question too many damn yes. times. <laughs> <laughs> Click on this. No, honestly, when you're writing documentation, a red arrow pointing to the thing you're supposed to look at goes so far. It Arrows get oh, yeah. so many Done. questions. Visual yeah. aids. Go figure. This is and that is exactly why GUIs are kind of important, especially if we want, you know, Linux to be more appealing to not just us, the people who already like Linux, but more people. So yeah, no, bring more GUIs, and this one's a very good example of it because it 
basically uh, makes Mango example. HUD that only had the um, command line interface and the config files. Now you have a GUI with a bunch of tick boxes and a few uh, drop down boxes that you can just select everything and save it. And boom, done. That that that's great. That's great. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, let, let's let's be real. I, I really do think though that we need to start demystifying the command line because I think I actually think it's simpler than clicking on things half the time. But whatever, people who are coming over from Windows or Mac need tools to click on I'm because still they like in camp, Like, why don't you learn how to use Linux? That does involve using the command line. It was because always most people that. who use computers don't want to learn the operating system. Then why don't they? As buy someone a who Mac does Windows uh, tech support, device. as someone who does Windows tech support, yeah, I they, they, I know that people don't. <laughs> that's they like, just don't listen, motherfucker. That's like <laughs> me picking up an Android device. Like, well, I don't want to have to touch things. Oh. Then you can use the hot dog. <laughs> you can use as much logic as you want. This is people not I'm, wanting to learn how shit. How dare you accuse about. me of using logic, especially on this show? <laughs> I'm going to use as many me. hot dogs as I want. Thank you very much. Hey, man. <laughs> well, we're done. Nope, we're not. Tux Builder. Let's talk about it. Godot reimplementation, real quick, uh, before we run out of time. It is a. You know what Super Tux is? Is this like uh, Mario it's and the Racer, budget? right? Yeah. Wait. No. This is. <laughs> This is the Tux Builder, man. Super Tux. It's the Mario one. Yeah, the Mario Kart. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no, Jordan. <laughs> I, anyway, this is built <laughs> in Godot. And I think this is really cool because uh, you might be interested in playing around with Godot. It's got a lot of great things going for it. We've watched it over the past few years just like explode. And we want to see more people using it. And one of the great ways of... Uh, you know, learning how something works is by example. So this will give you something that you can A-B comparison. It's like, hey, this is a finished game. But we went back and redid it in Godot. So you can be like, oh, that's how that works. Okay, collision detection. All right, jumps and all that. Like, so we have just a little basic understanding. And I think that's awesome. So there'll be a link in the show notes to that if you want to go put it all over your face, just in there. Mm-hmm. Coming up next, we're going to get on a trolley and go on a very, very long ride into the side of a mountain. What's the one the trolley goes poo poo? Welcome back to the Chairquisition, Mr. Freeman. This is where we take a game and see if it survives throughout by Fedora, Neon, and Debwan. And then the question we asked, Mr. Freeman, was it fun. This week we're taking a look at Black Mesa 1.0. It finally came out after how many years, Van? Billions of years. One billion years. It's developed by the Crowbar Collective. It's done on the Source Engine, but it's a heavily modified Source Engine. If you've been following the development of it, you can pick it up for about 20 bucks US or whatever other exchange rate nonsense happens there what is it we love half-life in this fan-made reimagining it's it's basically half-life we'll be talking about it soon and by soon i mean now how'd it Kay. run on debian Ven? oh dude check it out man <laughs> <I'm back. laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen on debian 10 man on the uh thread ripper 1920x old school but 32 gigajoules of ram nvme drive all that fun stuff I don't have any problem with it, man. It worked all of it. And I do mean all of it, which it kind of should because this is glorified Half-Life 2. 1080p, 2160p, on 11, well over 60, more like closer to 200. And I did test it on Proton, which is equally performant. Good to know. Uh, the only thing that was kind of a butt to me was uh, there's an issue with OBS, with the OpenGL render on Linux, which causes like seizure flickering. It's the same thing witnessed in Portal 2, if you've ever played that fun game. Do you think yeah. this is the same version of Source that Portal 2 is using? It's got to be, man. That's like the only time I've ever seen that. So we had to go, like on my end, I had to go way out of my way to capture like Portal 2. This, that's why I'm using Proton, if you're following my Road to Zen series on Twitch or YouTube. But let's talk about the fun. That's what you're here for, man. Because this is the... Uh, First time in a decade, I can tell everyone it's safe to save your game and it won't change <laughs> on you the next day. It's brilliant. I love it. At least I hope that's fixed because seriously, that nonsense can die in a fire. Now, have I ever mentioned I've never played the original Half-Life like this week? Hmm? Maybe because that's important to know. Man, I had no idea what I was in for. If you've watched me play this live, not even a little one. I'm like, wait, there's people in this? That was a legitimate thing I said. Now, all I knew that you know, I this this game involved a science human, a wicked goatee, 
and a crowbar facing off against some particularly hostile seafood, but that's enough about my sucks life. Sing, that's a joke, get it? Um, it is Half-Life 1 abridged with sparkly cowboy boots and a lacquered hairdo, you know? Everything needed to attract like a modern audience, you know, the kids these days and people desperate to relive the good old bad days of PC gaming. Minus the bad parts-ish, man. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is going to play like a first-person shooter from 1998 with an HD texture pack and pretty lights, not to take anything away from the work that's been done, but that's what Black Mesa is. It's a mod from 2012 that's gotten the fuck out of hand, man. But at the end of the day, take that shot. I like the level and puzzle design and the challenging enemy AI. Fuck that AI, but fuck it in a good way. I like that. Uh... Dude, I'm even on that road of Zen that I'm doing the live stream because I want to see what five years of work on one level looks like. And it better look like a milkshake. I'm just saying. But if you played the original, um, okay, you know what you're in for. It's the HD version. But if you're like me, you've never played the original, but you, like, say, played Half-Life 2. You enjoyed Half-Life 2. This is worth your money bits, man. I mean, it's paced about the same. It keeps you really engaged. And at the end of the day, man, take another shot. Where's that Synergy mod? That's all I'm waiting on, man. But give this across the board solid three chairs. I enjoyed it. And I plan on continuing enjoying it much too. You can watch the horror and pain. I mean, the game has genuinely frustrated me. I've said <laughs> negative things to it. And uh, I plan on keeping that up till I get to Zen. Then I'm just going to I like just take want to point out one thing about what you said. Uh, that video you're watching right now was recorded with the Linux version with OBS. Uh-huh. It's not flickering. Yeah, no. Fasc fascinating. <laughs> That's why we tested on three different operating systems, Pedro. <laughs> what? Are, are you saying that the central crux of the Chairquisition is that things work differently on different nope. operating systems? No, no. No, but Pedro had That's to heresy. point out. Yeah. How, 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 how many chairs then? How many Understood. chairs then? Uh, again, again for the people at home. Three. three. <laughs> Three. Well, on uh, Fedora 3064-bit with the i7 6700K GTX 1080 Ti, it seems to be equally performant at 1080p and UHD from like a frames per second perspective, according to the Steam overlay. Although, um, at least on my machine, UHD seems to have a little bit of herky jerk. It's very likely some frame timing issues as it seems to be procced by like mouse movement. If you're just moving straight ahead, no herky jerk, move your head around. You get herky jerk. Um, also, the flashlight in some tight corridors kind of eats poo and everything just becomes super dark. Whatever, I can deal with that. And uh, it controls like a Half-Life should. One thing that kind of tripped me up, though. Okay, so the last time I played Half-Life, the OG Half-Life, I was like maybe 14, 15 years old. So this was like, like literally 15 years ago. And I don't remember there being much of a soundtrack. There is definitely a prominent soundtrack that kicks in in Black Mesa. And I don't know if mm -hmm. I like it or not. Now, okay, fair question. Do you believe it's kind of almost to the detriment? Because it's like spoilers. I was like, shit, it's about to get well, real. Not, 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 even, not even that. I think part of like part of the, the atmosphere of Half-Life is sort of the, the isolation where there's not a lot of noise aside from uh like the radio chatter or the enemies or whatnot it makes you feel alone it makes you feel like you're crawling through this facility desperately scrambling for a way out when like the electro music have, or like it did have the music you had to have the uh, cd in the cd drive for it to play but it did have music okay may may maybe i didn't do that then but again 15 years ago my memory is a little screwy either way i prefer the silence Anywho, fun-wise, I mean, Half-Life, it, it, it a prettier look in Half-Life with an updated engine, but it's still fundamentally Half-Life. Um, like Ven said, it is it is somewhat abridged. They do smooth over some of the rougher edges that the original game has in yes. terms of like pacing and levels, which is good. It's nice to see remakes that actually don't 100% try to faithfully recreate the thing, but improve it, Produ provide an idealized version that plays better and feels better. The Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes for Pokemon did that quite well. Um, but uh, from what I've seen, it's pretty faithful. All the stuff I remember from my original playthrough a million years ago seems to hold water. Things seem to be where they were 
back then. So that's good. So, I mean, if, like Ben said, if you haven't experienced Half-Life before, this is probably the way to do it. Um, you can, you can go back and play the original. It's still a perfectly good game. Um, like on, honestly, shooter mechanics have not really progressed all that much since like 1998. Sometimes there's some duck and cover mechanics. Dude, some, I, sometimes there's some like fancier shit, but here, I could lean around corners. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe some cornaline or some, insect dog running over i don't know um it's good it's good fun um but i'm not really expecting to be surprised till you hit zen because you know they redid and restructured that i haven't gotten there yet i got to a little bit past where you get the shotgun and it was basically like yep this is everything is where i remember it um I'm kind of hoping that maybe in the future they'll do some stuff like opposing force and blue shift because i really enjoyed those expansions and of course and of course, the inevitable, potentially synergy fueled, insane multiplayer. Because, like I said, when we talked about it in the Steam segment, I like the idea of like, oh hey, we 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 decided to not go with Gordon Freeman and instead hired like a dozen interns. Let's have them go through the plot of Half Life. <laughs> that 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 just tickles me. I'm gonna give it three chairs. It's it's Half Life. Go play it. Yeah. Yeah. No. And over here on uh, KDE Neon, uh, it launched. Uh, with the i uh, not i7 the Ryzen 7 3700X. You stole my computer, and, Pedro. No, and the um, uh, GeForce GTX 1080. It uh, yeah, no, it, it it launched and it remembered my control uh, control settings and much like Jordan, I did notice some of the performance issues because with everything on 11, yes, it holds way above 200 FERPs for the most part, almost hitting the 300 FERPS uh, source engine cap. But there was one level in Office Complex where it came down to the 30s. It's that level that has one of the offices that's flooded and there's like electricity going down into the water. Yeah, that specific one in that specific area where that flooded office is, it was horrible. But the, um, oh, well, there were a couple of more bugs. There was a floating green circle, uh, in one of the levels in, um, God I can't remember what it was called. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, apparently it's caused by the God rays. Uh, there's also an aliasing bug that makes certain textures look bright red where they were supposed to be transparent around the edges of models where anti-aliasing would take effect, but enabling and disabling FXAA, since that's the only option for uh, anti-aliasing that you get in the game, that didn't do anything. So I don't know what's up with that. It is a bit rough in points, but it does work, and glitches aside, it looks very nice. They did a very good job with the visuals of it. The fun, well, <laughs> when I uh, went to download the game uh, for playing it for the chairs, it said, oh yeah, the last time you played this game was in November 2017. It's like, Ooh, that was a while ago. But, um, you know, at that point, uh, it still ended when uh, you jumped into Zen. Well, that's not the case anymore. Um, playing it again and playing what is effectively a reimagining of the first Half-Life, it's pretty fun. Uh, they, uh, I did notice that they made, like both Ven and Jordan already mentioned, uh, they made uh, th some of the levels smaller. And I'm absolutely 100% behind this because uh, on a rail was a chore and some of the first uh, few levels in the um, unforeseen consequences, like the first chapter after the intro, those could drag out a little too long. So they clearly removed a lot of the padding and they made the pacing go from like set piece to set piece to set piece, nonstop, all action, all the time. That's great. That's amazing. It's either you're always doing something. You don't have just those big long corridors with nothing happening. That's that's great. I, I did kind of like those though in the original, just because it, it like I I agree that it's not the most engaging, but it's also a bit of a palate cleanser at times, and it really yeah. it really like hammers in the scale of what you're trying to accomplish in the game. But in my opinion, that is also what makes um, Black Mesa the slightly better game, because in Half-Life 2 they sort of removed a, a lot of that padding. There was still some, especially in the levels where you were driving around. When they were doing the designs with Half-Life 2, I remember watching a documentary, they were doing game testing, and they're like, if the person wasn't yeah. actively engaged, we tightened it up. Yeah. And uh, it's you still got some of those that they were clearly petting it out, especially with the driving ones in Half-Life 2. But oh boy, Black Mesa yeah. has a lot of that Half-Life 2, 
oh, this is a very hard to put down game because it's like, ooh, uh, I already made it to this level. Okay, I'm just going to play a bit more till I get to the next loading screen. And then the lo next loading screen happens, it's like, ooh, it's this area. I'm just going to play a bit more. It's like, See, ooh, I'm just going to play I, a bit more. I would more. generally argue that because with Half-Life 2, I had to take breaks. Like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I, I gotta put this yeah, down. No, then. this one for me, yet like yesterday, it was like 2.30 in the uh, in the morning. It's like, oh, I should probably go to bed now. So three chairs is what it gets for me. Even, uh, I will also add that I spent a lot of time playing around with the, uh, the physics objects and just messing around with them, like putting weapons and pickups on stuff and just seeing how the physics reacted. It's... It's fun. The, the physics are interesting. Um, two things. One, I this made me download all, what, 500 megs of Half-Life 1 on Linux. It's like, what's this yeah. thing all done? It's like, okay. Looking at it, I'm like, yeah, same game. I get it. I mean, this is, this is would you say this is more of the, the HD texture pack upgrade versus uh, re reimagining? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go so far as to call it a reimagining remake. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that's definitely smoothed over. Reimagining, I feel, would be like they would they would depart further from the original Half Life formula, which they have not done. Right. So I feel they've done a lot of work, and you know they've done a good job. It, apparently, according to everyone, I mean, it's like yes, this feels like Half Life. It's got all the good parts in it, and I'm down with that. Uh, and I forgot what my second point was. Indeed. Oh, oh, <laughs> right. If you launch Half-Life 1 on Linux, uh, make sure you uh, kill the zombie process. When you make close sure it. to kill the head crab zombies. <laughs> got it. All right. Uh, and any last things we got to say before we Coming get out of here? Coming up next. Coming up next. We got some hate mails about some emus. Goddamn emus. I'm honestly not sure where to go with this. We I don't know, man. You started chairs. out in silence, and I'm like, it can only go downhill. <laughs> we I threw mean, it's chairs already, at a game at that we relentlessly mocked on this very Gravity show that it would probably party. never come out, that they would never, ever finish. And yet, here we are. And this is not the first instance. And no, we did chances it two weeks are, ago this too. is not the first instance of you catching this particular show and uh, basically just shouting at the screen, that's bullshit! Well, we can't hear that. But, if you go to linuxgamecast.com You know what, I just had a thought, button. a little bit of an aside after watching Pedro for a minute. Do you think if Nic Nicolas Cage star starred in like a Led Zeppelin uh, movie, he could be Nicolas Cage? Hmm... Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I, th I, th I think Jimmy Page is... I think Nicolas Cage is original, and Jimmy Page is a massive plagiarist, Nicholas so... Nicolas Page, I, I think it would definitely work. But if you have thoughts on casting decisions... You can do like Ellen Page and uh, hit the contact button on LinuxGameCast.com. I don't know if she ever did. She probably didn't, but whatever. Uh, just pick LGC Weekly as the show you're sending your uh, bit of hate mail to, and we will feature it right here, right now. Unless, of course, the answer is on the first page of Google. Or if you're a game developer and you're trying to promote your game and you don't read the text that's above it, what else? that's on you. What if it's on the first page? What if I had my eyes closed <laughs> when it showed up on the first page? I'm like, I don't know. How the hell did you get to LinuxGameCast.com or even hit the contact button for Drugs. that matter? <laughs> because I am a cat. Meow. <laughs> yes. And, uh, well, you can do like Andrea and uh, ask us some questions like, Hi, hi. I want to Linux and emulate. I'm interested in Game Boy Advance, SNES, and Wii for? emulators. Yep. All right. Yes. Um, Never mind. Is Dolphin best for Nintendo? Thoughts on uh, MAME, MGBA, and Hygen. Hygen? Retro Hygen. Arch? All right, then what the fuck's an MGBA? It, that's the um, Game Boy Advance an emulator. Oh. Yeah. Do blue without the E uh, tooth game Blitz. pads work in Linux? Yes. Uh, Google was awfully confusing about this. Any help is appreciated. Well, well yes, so I, I can tell you that Bluetooth and Bluetooth, and if you'll give me a moment. 
Well, so I, b- Bluetooth. Before, b- before Pedro finishes <laughs> that work. sentence, when you're running uh, not like early five kernel, because oh boy, that was that was a bit of a problem for a while, but they they fixed it. Um, five point oh, man. <laughs> to 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 I mean to address some of the the specific questions. Um, Dolphin is good if you're emulating Wii or uh, GameCube games. Okay. Uh, I usually use uh, Visual Boy Advance for uh, my GBA emulations. I haven't really tried MGBA. We talked about Keegan and some of the interesting stuff it does for uh, emulation. If you want to check that out for 16-bit, you absolutely can. Yeah, there's lots Retro of good emulation. Retro will actually set you up with a single dedicated operating system for all of the emulators. Okay. Yeah, nice. Ret- 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 RetroArch pretty much has you covered. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. What about like MAME? Is that an option? Mame, Mame is definitely an option if you want to emulate some yes. old arcade cabinets. But again, RetroArch kind of has you covered. <laughs> Neat. Uh, cool. Hopefully, I, I, but all I really know is Dolphin. I played with Dolphin, and it was like, Snorky, kill, and I ran away in terror. But yeah. Snorky, talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> On that bombshell, let's cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Come say hi. We're doing this live after the fact podcast form. We, yeah, we do have a YouTube channel. Go put that in your face. Um, that's kind of brilliant. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm at Vin Stone on Twitter. And I'm also, I think, just at Vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com. We're there both places. Come say hi. We'll say hi back. I'm a cute, cuddly dolphin with my bottle nose and my blowhole. Oh, cute, cute, and my tail. QCD, yeah. QCD, that's that's me. You can find me on Twitter at the Printing Fool or on Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodonnextgamecast.com. I make no, I can't make a good dolphin noise. I really wish I could. This bit's over. Pedro, call, call. I blam, was going blam. to say something else about dolphins, but whatever. I Shut am up, the Brandon Lee. <laughs> you can find me at an accounted for on Twitter, which is. Honestly, the last bit of social media that I have going on that I pay any attention to. So, yeah, no, follow me on there. Uh, if you post interesting shit, I'll follow you right back. Sound like a deal? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Beautiful people, we gotta bounce. But before that, we're gonna roll some credits. If I can some find snake them. credits. No. Snake. God damn, that's a little I'll step on snack. It's so big. <laughs> oh, no. It's so <laughs> big. It, it has run amok. The credits are too big. Fuck your spoon, the credits are too big. Yeah. I am a banana. <laughs> Lightning Patreon. My we anus is Haplo, bleeding. Who's our, our only advisor. We got our executive producers, our theory and Mr. Fox Dog, MT, the Atomic Ass, Mike, Mike G. G, Bob Brandt, Aldias, Hoplo, <laughs> again, he's both Scott Mackey, <laughs> Scott <Fox> Claw, <laughs> drummer. He's multifunctional. He's like a Swiss Army knife of bleeding money. Swiss Army Apple. Yes. Uh, we got to thank and our producers. All the lovely, like lovely producers. Smash the G, Michael, Egal, Jolly, Topical, Gaius, Mathieu, Max, Yabo, Sony Fish, Kels, Kresge, Shea, Mr. Alert, Dirty Michael Dean, N. Datargos, Wintercell, Hoffenstaufen, Kai Linux Cast, Earl, Mr. Hummish, Jupiter Broadcasting, Brock. Mike, Brock. Steven, Rock the Brock. Leonardo, Spock out, Anyways, Spock out. Nathan, Jules. Belric, <laughs> the Admiral JT, all those lovely Steven, people. Thank you, Simcha. <laughs> and, and we, we got to show the people behind Ben, right? The, the fuck this, wall. This is the thing we fuck do at you. the end of every show because Jordan's like, show the thing behind Ben. And I got to put my clothes on. Yes. There it is. Call I mean, my, I'm, I'm, Basil, <laughs> our theory. The work chest. Enable cheat mode in our beautiful little downtown studio. Yes. See you next week. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>